Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do one of my favorite pattern hacks. Now, a pattern hack is when you take an existing pattern and you modify it in some way. In this case, I'm going to show you how to add a ruffle. And I am wearing the Esma top, which I have a link to below. This pattern is available in my shop, and it doesn't have any ruffles on the original pattern. But you can see how much the look has changed by adding a peplum ruffle on the version that I'm wearing, or on this version on the dress form, I've added sleeve ruffles. So this same technique is used to do the sleeves or the peplum, it's just a matter of attaching a ruffle to a different place on the pattern. And I'm going to show you how to do that. to want to do is measure the edge that you are going to be putting the ruffle on. So in this case, since I'm doing a sleeve ruffle, I want to measure the sleeve edge. You can do this on your fabric once you've sewn the shoulder seam, or you can mark off the seam allowances on your pattern and measure in advance. And I've got 17 and a half inches here on my measuring tape. Now you want to take that and you want to multiply that number by anywhere from 1.5 to 3. So with my particular ruffle here, what I've done is I have multiplied at times 1.75. So you can see that's going to be longer than that. The more, the bigger number that you multiply by, the more ruffled your ruffle is going to be. And then it's up to you to decide how deep you want your ruffle to be. Um, my finished ruffle here, after I take the half inch seam allowance off the top, is going to be about four and a half inches, four and five eighth inches long. And that's because I've already hemmed it, which that is your next step. I have done a rolled hem on the bottom edge of my ruffle piece. And I'm not going to show that in this video because I have a whole other video on how to do rolled hems and I will put a link to that below. But go ahead, hem your ruffle with whatever method works best for your fabric. On this particular fabric, I chose the rolled hem. The next thing you're going to want to do is gather the top edge of the ruffle so that it will match whatever you're attaching it to. And my favorite way to gather is to use a basting stitch. So I'm going to set my machine to a basting stitch and then we're going to baste some lines on this. Okay, if your machine doesn't have a specific basting stitch, you'll just want to use the longest straight stitch that you can use on your machine. And you also want to make sure before you start stitching that you have both the bobbin and top threads and you've got a little bit of length so that um, you'll be able to pull these to make the gathers later. I like to start with my needle in the center position and then I like to stitch down and turn around. Okay, I'm going to take one stitch here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down my fabric and I'm going to put the needle in the furthest left position that it will go so it will sew really close to that edge. By turning and leaving that one stitch on the end, this means that my gathering stitches won't pull out on that end, which is sometimes a risk, especially with looser woven fabric like I'm using here, that you'll just pull your basing thread all the way through and then it just all comes out. When you get to the end, if your machine has an automatic thread cutter, don't use it. You want to pick up and manually cut your thread so that you have those long thread ends to work with. And then once you have your um, basting stitches sewn, it's just a matter of taking either your two bobbin threads or your two top threads. I find the bobbin usually works a little bit better, but you want to grab those two threads 
and then just pull and that will start gathering your fabric. You want to do that until your fabric is the same length as whatever you're attaching this ruffle to. And you want to evenly space the gathers. I usually worry about getting it to the correct length first and then I go back and I make sure that my gathers aren't all clumped up in one place. Okay, so once that is the correct length, then what you want to do is you're going to place these right sides together and you are going to stitch that ruffle to that sleeve. When you're done, I cheated and went ahead and did the other side, it will look like this. So here is my gathered sleeve. And now all I need to do to finish this hack is to sew the other ruffle on. But once they're both sewn on, what I will do is go ahead and stitch here, come across the seam allowance, and then stitch down. I will clip into that corner once I've stitched it to allow for more movement. And then all I have left to do is hem.